469, 470. One of the, I want to say, like not romantic games, if that makes sense. That's the San Francisco 49ers and the New England Patriots. Raheem Mostert's going to miss this game. I believe he went on IR with a high ankle sprain. Yeah. So a lot of that explosiveness from the offense does leave the table. But you still have the best tight end in football. You have a good offensive line. Debo Samuel, a very versatile wide receiver. There's a lot of things they can do. And also keep in mind, yet another week healthy for Jimmy Garoppolo. But I like to watch as things happen. And Kyle Shanahan... He doesn't really tip his hand because I like the way he thinks through a football game by saying, I know we can win this game already with the amount of points we have. We don't have to hit the gas pedal because if we do and it turns out wrong, the Rams like last week can get back into the game. They took that lead at the half and said, Jimmy, we ain't going to lose this football game. We only need three points in the second half. They got their three points. They walk away with the win, and that's all that matters. But now you're going up against a New England team going on the road that was embarrassing last week. But... You get a full week of practice, probably going to get a couple guys back on that COVID list on the offensive line. But that's not really the issue I have because when I'm looking at this game, breaking it down, the first thing that draws my attention is the under 44 points because where's the explosiveness coming? Because you still have two decent defenses on both sides. But who's the guy, Kyle, that's running down the middle for a 75-yard touchdown? I mean, obviously outside of Kittle breaking through coverage. I just don't see that happening in this game from both ends. And I do think you get good defensive performances. One of those 21 to 17 games, I think you can ring it up for this one for me. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough game. And it feels kind of like a trap now that the Niners are getting points. And they're going from the West Coast to the East Coast. And you've got Garoppolo versus Belichick, his first game back in Foxborough after the trade. And then you look at that Patriots offense last week, absolutely abysmal against a trash can team in the Denver Broncos. I mean, it was it was embarrassing. And uh, so, you know, everyone's going to be down on the Patriots and everyone's going to be high on the 49ers. I will say there's some big play potential. You're not going to get it from Jimmy Garoppolo. Where you're going to get it from is the play action and Samuel and Ayuk running those little crossing routes over the middle. It's a run after catch type of offense. So losing Raheem Mostert, is a huge loss for this team. Now you're relying on Jarek McKinnon, and hopefully Jeff Wilson Jr. can play this week. So you're not relying on Jermichael Hasty. I mean, that is not a recipe for success. When you look at the weakness for the 49ers, their defense is banged up. You know, the secondary is banged up. Mosley is an okay corner. Uh, you know, Jason Verrett, if he can stay healthy, is actually a pretty legit shutdown corner. You look at the weapons for the Patriots. I mean, who are you afraid of in this Offense, Nikhil Harry, not so much. Julian Edelman, Cam Newton doesn't have the accuracy or the timing to get Julian Edelman the football. Look at the Titans, Izzo and Asiasi, uh, nothing. Uh, Demir Bird, uh, you know. Are you, so I think the 49ers, even though they're banged up, yeah. are the better football team coming in. Yeah. They've played pretty good on the East Coast, so I like that they're laying a couple points here. And I think you're right, even though, you know, nowadays you see an over under at 43 and a half and you want to jump all over it because of all the scoring <laughs> going on in the NFL. Yeah, uh, I think you're right. This is probably a pretty good. This is going to be a good chess match between two of, you know, you could argue the two brightest minds in terms of scheming in the NFL offensively for Shanahan and defensively for Belichick. I like the 49ers in a close game. I like that they're laying a couple points. So give me the 49ers. Over 300 people currently watching us live here on Thursday. The support you guys give us in the chat box, watching the yeah. shows, giving the retweets. It's why we do this on the air. It's why we have so much fun. I know this Thursday show, it's great because it gets play from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all the watchbacks, close to 10,000 views a week. So awesome, awesome Amazing. stuff, guys. But yeah, looking at San Francisco, I actually agree with you here. I do think they're the better overall football team. And a lot of from what, you know, gambling perspective you're open up at a three and a half that line is now one and a half and twos across the board that means a lot because if you're looking at one of those coin flip games i actually do trust the san francisco offense way more than i do oh, yeah. the new england offense because what are you going to what do you expect like for new england's offense to operate camden has to have like 17 carries for like 80 it's just an odd operation where so many people jump the gun remember you saw week one like cam newton player of the year comeback player of the year should they sign him now to six years 400 million dollars Bill Belichick got a steal. Don't like so much of a steal right now. So we'll see how it plays out. But I agree in this game. I think San Francisco's scheme, I think San Francisco's players are better than the New England yeah. Patriots. But just the fact that you're coming West Coast to East and you got to play, we'll see how that matches up. 